Facing resistance, battling your demons, and looking at the God of death will save your marriage. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the Gil Podcast. This podcast is about me, Gil, and the things that I'm currently obsessed with. On today's episode, I want to talk about The War of Art. It is a book uh, written by Stephen Pressfield, and it focuses on uh, resistance. And I really love this book simply because a lot of the uh, stories and the, the, the points are things that I can relate to. It. And it kind of just reinforces my ideology, my thinking process. And it's like, okay, I'm kind of on the right path. And I really want to share the things that I've learned. So this is like a, a Gill Cliff Notes or a Gill, Gill Notes about the War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. So let's jump right into it. So to me, in the book, they talk about, well, he talks about resistance. And resistance is um, the force that prevents you from being uh, your your fullest self. I like to take it a step further and just think about resistance as the god of death. Um, in the Game of Thrones show, in the book, Arya Stark was in this like assassin training school or something like that, and one of the, I guess her master or teacher had they have a, a saying or a phrase like "What do you say to the god of death?" You say "Not today," and that's why that's how I like to look at resistance. Resistance is the god of death, and you have to look it in the eye and say, "You're not going to stop me from being." my fullest self. You're not going to stop me from experiencing this opportunity. You're not going to stop me from putting my ideas, giving birth to my ideas. And even a step further, like it might sound, it might sound really dark, but I like to think about resistance or the God of death as you, because when you think about resistance, when you think about all the reasons and things that stops you from, you know, filming and recording a podcast in the middle of the night or learning about AI or learning about lighting and getting a studio space. It knows everything about you. Like the resistance will be phrases like, well, you don't have, uh, you don't have two cameras. You don't have, uh, you don't have a microphone. You don't have, uh, gills, you know, amazing, um, sultry, sultry, <laughs> sultry voice. So you can stop right there. And I'm here to tell you that I, even now, I still kind of hate my voice. It's just kind of still a thing. But there are so many things that your resistance, aka the God of death, knows about you. It's you. You're, <laughs> in most cases, it's just really just you stopping you from being your fullest self. And I have been through so many things, different atrocities where it's like, I can do this, but I can't because nah, I'm, nah, it's it's late or no, I nobody's going to watch. Nobody's going to listen. Resistance pretty much is a force that stops you from doing the things that you should be doing or that you could be doing. I can tell you again, like there's been so many times resistance has stopped me from being me, the person that I am today. And to be honest, Resistance is stopping me from being the person that I could be tomorrow. Like there are so many uh, ways you can think about it. It's like, okay, what if I didn't make this video? You know, it doesn't exist. It's just in my head. Uh, is it Mark Twain? I can't remember who said this, but they said that ideas are like a a wild bull in a in a home in a house, like just waiting to be like be free. And that's how I like to think about. It my ideas and it's not fair to them like they they deserve to you know run out and be wild like my video ideas my podcast ideas it's not fair and i have to be able to you know sit down and bring them all out and do my due diligence as a creator and if you're watching this you're probably somebody who's like well i'm not a creator i don't have a youtube channel i'm not a writer i'm not a musician I don't bake cakes. I'm not, I'm not creative. That's where you're wrong. Um, resistance is not only present in the realm of content creation or creativity or the arts. 
resistance or the God of death is present in everything. It's been, it's been like uh, a couple of years ago now, I was home, super tired, exhausted. And my my friend Jake texts me. He's like, hey, where you at? He's like, I'm home. I'm tired though. I got And I got a couple of uh, client stuff. I already know what he was going to ask me. He's like, okay, well, get your stuff together. Get your bike kit. Uh, put air in your tires, um, get your um, clipless pedals for your bike shoes, get your get s- everything you need because we're going out. We're going to ride. Oh, no, nah, man. I told him, like, dude, I, I can't. I'm just exhausted. Uh, I got some client work I got to finish. Um, I want to do a podcast. Uh, I, and I got to pick up my wife in four hours. There's, there's quite literally uh, no way for me to have any time to ride. He's like, dude, see you in 20 minutes. I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go for a quick ride. It's just going to be really nice. It's going to be really short. I called him. I was like, hey, how how many miles are we going to do? He's like, well, we're going to do like, mm, let's do 10 miles, 10 miles. All right, cool. I could do 10 miles. Let's let's just do 10 miles. I get out there, um, you know, and, and we leave. We ended up doing, uh, past, I think after I, we did like 11 or 12 miles, I was like, all right, man, we're going to, you know, we're going to turn around. It's, it's getting pretty late and I got to pick up my wife and maybe in two hours or so. Now let's just keep going. I was like, no, nah, man, I, I got to go back. You know, it's getting late. You know, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure about parking and, you know, I just don't want any issues when, you know, where I parked. It was just excuse after excuse. And he's just like, all right, man, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm way up ahead. So we're, I'm cycling. We're going. We're going. I was super tired. My legs are giving up. And he's like, dude, just keep pedaling. Just keep pedaling. And I'm like, dude, I'm tired. And I just kept telling myself I'm tired. And I just said, you know what? I'm not tired. I'm already out here. We're about... If I were to go home now, I would have to still bike <laughs> to go back home. I'm not catching an Uber, you know, and then it started raining. And I was like, well, I'm out here now. I might as well do my due diligence and start riding. So I started riding and riding. And I don't think I've ridden that hard in, in, at that time for a while. And it felt amazing. And I got like a second wind. I just kept going and going and going. And when we finished, I think we did like 23 or like 24, 25 miles. And I came back home, showered, picked up my wife. We had an amazing conversation. Came home, uh, brought her home, went to bed, uh, woke up. That, that whole entire week, I, I was just a different person. Because I faced the God of death. And I said, not today. That resist, like facing against resistance, especially when you're in a, you know, when you're in a marriage, just allows you to just have this aura of uh, energy, excitement, beauty, a glow. And that was transferred over to my wife. And it was just something unconscious. And I would notice when I would deal with like resistance, my attitude would be a lot lighter. Facing resistance, battling your demons, and looking at the God of death will save your marriage. It has done it time and time again. Because when you're in these little creative funks, when you're in a situation, when you're just tired and exhausted with the mundanity of life, you tend to be kind of a drag or kind of annoying to be around. Nobody wants to be around the negative, vibey person, even if you're married to that person. So you're just filled with uh, the God of death beating you over and over again, telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that. And when you overcome it, you feel like you can do anything. And you take on more and more challenges because you have... You have faced the God of death in one. Resistance also is procrastination or just, um, you know, the self-doubt and the fear as well. 
uh, in 2011, I wrote a book, a book. It was a book of short stories and poems about my identity, my mentality, my spirituality at that time. And I thought it, I thought it was great. <laughs> you know, I wrote it and I published it in 2013 on Amazon. I didn't tell any of my friends or family. I quite literally just left it on Amazon. And I didn't tell any of my friends out of fear. It, it's, it's a weird thing. You know, I, I launched a book. I, launched a, I even launched a second book, which is my uh, photography word search. And I had that same, like that same bubbling fear. The God of death begun to arise from the mist of shadows and the corners of my mind telling me that you're going to create a photography word search book? What do you know about photography? What qualifies you to even talk about this? And I just said, not today. I'm going to take the time, publish it, and put it out there. My first book, I even took it off Amazon. Like going back to that, I even took it off Amazon because I was like, I don't want, I don't want people to even like have an idea. Let me just search Gil's name. Like who's going to type in a nine letter name and my last name? My name is like Guillaume Dormis and then find my book of poems. Like I, I was just so embarrassed and shocked, not shocked, but I was just embarrassed. Like, oh God, I don't, I don't want this to even happen. So I just removed it. And fast forward to uh, my photography word search book that I just published. That book should not even exist. Let me tell you why. So May 1st, 2023 is me and my wife's wedding anniversary. It's our 11th year wedding anniversary. And we had a lot of plans, but as we were getting ready to leave, I decided to say, hey, we're going to be gone for a week. So what I would like to do is make sure that we do our preventative maintenance for our home, like right now, you know, replace the uh, air filter, you know, fix all the, check all the pipes, make sure there's no leaks. and we found the leak. <laughs> we found a really big leak and we had a leak maybe like three to four years ago, that, which was the water heater. This time it was the, um, a pipe and it's been leaking for a hot minute. It was, and it was a hot water pipe. It's funny. Not really funny. It's kind of expensive. So what ended up happening was we called some contractors, get, got some quotes and we said, you know what? Let's just have this handled now. Also, let's just have other contractors come and work on other things in the home while we're, while we're here. And I'm just talking to contractors, hiring, firing, um, finding, you know, alternative, you know, people to work with alternative parts, just doing the research. And at this time, I said, this is the perfect opportunity for me to sit down and focus on this photography word search book because it's been in my mind for a while. Let's just put it out there right now. No, I can't. You know, I, I got these contractors and I, I got to be alert. I got to make sure these guys aren't trying to screw me over. I got to make sure they're doing a good job. And I said, I can do all that and come up with 250 words and make a, photo make a book cover and design it in Photoshop. I can do that and make sure that these guys aren't screwing me and my wife over. What's you're, you're coming up with these half, you know, half ass excuses. Just do it. And my wife was, we were, um, we were working on it. She was helping me out, making sure every, all the spelling and everything was good. And we were watching charmed. We were binge watching the, uh, the original charmed series and I'm in the living room, typing away, doing everything, editing. And I did the word search book. Well, I started the word search book maybe a couple of months ago. And then I completed it in three days oh, while these contractors are working. Got some proofs from Amazon, looked at them and said, all right, let's publish it. The God of Death resistance really was upset. And that 
really just gave me the strength to work on more and just do more. And I just can't tell you how amazing it feels to just have an idea, deal with the self-doubt, deal with the fear. Like even when even putting the book out, it just felt it still kind of feels a little bit um, fearful. Like, oh, gosh, people are going to look at this book and they see me as an authority figure or maybe they don't. Maybe maybe they say, what does what does this book is for? Like, but I I put it out there. That's the least that I can do. Resistance is it makes sense too. like resistance makes sense. It's like it's you. Like I said, you're the God of death for your ideas. You are the one that's going to stop you from being your fullest self because you know everything about you. It's going to make all the sense in the world. Well, I don't have a full frame camera. I don't have a I don't have multiple cameras. I don't have multiple mics. I can't, you know, I can't do a podcast. There's really no way for me to uh, to do anything because, and also I'm not a professional. <laughs> you know, it's, I remember um, I did a consultation with some clients and it was, a, it was a, a married couple and they were, they wanted to learn Photoshop. So I'm doing Photoshop with them. And I was going over, like, I think I was maybe like using the magic wand tool. And so I'm on the keyboard, you know, hitting W, uh, creating a new layer. And they're just like, wow, you're like a professional. And I said, no, no, I'm not. But then I stopped myself. I said, you know what? I guess I am. And after that, I, I it just made me more certain and assertive when I would talk in consultations because I have been doing this for more than 10,000 hours. I have been editing photos like for years, editing photos, editing videos. I remember, I remember my first video that I, the, the type of videos that I used to make was uh, on Windows Movie Maker on what version of Windows was it? I don't remember. It's super old. But I would make anime music videos. I would screen record anime videos on the internet or download them, uh, rip, uh, rock songs, you know, alternative rock songs like, um, Stone Sour, Breaking Benjamin. I was really happy with them. And they were just something really cool. And it just taught me editing, cutting after a certain amount of time, I become good at it. But for whatever reason, the God of death, doubt, resistance, comes in and says, I'm not qualified because it, it'll say, well, you don't know how to rotoscope. Well, you're not really good at um, color grading. Well, you only shoot with 8-bit, even though I have a Sony a7 IV that shoots 10-bit. Um, you don't, you don't uh, do this. Your lighting is this. And it's, no, I can still create amazing content that I enjoy, that other people enjoy. And that's what I tell to the God of death. I would just create. Overcoming resistance is, it's hard, but it's something that you have to do. Overcome it and you will be much greater for it. Especially if you're in a relationship, like I said earlier, like it will really allow you to be a better person for your partner. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this podcast episode. If you did, comment down below. Share a story of how you overcame resistance and let me know how did it feel? Are you still overcome? Are you still dealing with it? If you are, let me know. Comment down below. Also, be sure to check out uh, my newsletter. I'll link it in the description. I will share this whole transcript and with even with more information um, about how I overcame resistance. The book, the link to the book, if you wanted to check it out. Also, uh, be sure to get my photography word search book on Amazon. You go to gilddormis.com slash book. I'll take you there. I'll also uh, put it in the description down below. So to check that out, it'd be greatly appreciated. I do have a English version and a Spanish version. The Spanish version is the same. It's just that the glossary is in Spanish. I do have one coming up. I have actually two. 
I, I don't want to announce anything before it's even finished, but they're like 97, 93% completed and they are coming into existence. And I'm not going to allow the God of death or resistance to stop me. Um, so I'm, I'm coming out with a content creator one where it's going to be a bunch of content creator terms. If you do have some content creator terms you want me to include, comment down below. Let's talk about it. Let me let me put it put that into the book. I also have a a urban uh, word search. So urban word search is, is going to include uh, words like bruh, on fleek, uh, all those urban words. Um, it, it has been really fun uh, creating that book because my wife doesn't know any type of slang. <laughs> so I have I think a couple of hundred words in there, and she's like, I don't know any of this. All in all, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. If you want to uh, hit me up about being a guest on the show, email me at contact at gilddormace.com. It'd be really fun to uh, have a guest on here. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice one. Peace.